that I'm here now, and you're here, I need your help. So don't abandon me, Alma. Don't abandon you? I need you to make a choice. I need you to make it now. We can't move forward. What choice? I mean, I... you can choose to tune all this out. And you can go back to the life you were living and just keep living it and living it and living it. You just keep on living and living and living it. But why not live it over here in the sewer? Come on, everybody. It's 11 o'clock at night. Okay, it's 11.13. I was a little late. I take a pee pee. Okay. Living it. Loving it. It's a clip from a movie called uh, Obscure. What the fuck was that called again? Boundaries. Boundless. The Endless. The Bounded. Hold on one second. It's Obscura. Bob Odenkirk. Cartoon animated undone. It also has that uh that chicken it was her name. It's in every fucking movie now. Who's that lady? I don't know. There's there's too much stuff to know, okay? Too much stuff to know. I can't remember all of it. She was uh she was also in that stupid ass anime. That was a uh, Saul, better call Saul. I haven't seen the last season yet. Don't ruin it for me, people. I'm sure somebody gets shot. Somebody dies. I'm sure there was drug use and money and laws and whatnot and hoosies. Anyway, it's Wednesday, my dudes. September 7th, 2022. The spooky season has begun, all right? Fucking Halloween. Just... Everybody dies? You ducky, you just fucking ruined it, man. Well, they can't die. Well, actually, they can die. This is after Breaking Bad. I just want to see uh, Mulder and Scully show up and fucking take Slip and Jimmy on a UFO, on a UAP. Cheers. I don't even know if you heard me crack this beer right here, but I got this uh, Coors Banquet. Old favorite. Why not? Why not? You mean the movie nobody saw, NetNet? Sorry, I'm talking to the chat room. If you would like to join the chat room and completely throw the host off from doing his radio show, come on down. It's fun. You can either go to Twitch, you go to Discord, you go to IRC. Now, what is all the server addresses and, and the, the computer lingo mumbo jumbo? Is mumbo jumbo a bad word? I was thinking in my head before I said it was. It, Diane, is mumbo jumbo on the uh, do not use list? It's like derogatory towards mumbos or jumbos. What the fuck is the meaning of mumbo jumbo? Sometimes uh, it's very hard to be me because when I'm like just doing anything and talking and saying stuff, I just like, what the, what the fuck does that even, why am I saying this word? Mumbo jumbo. Let's see if I'm okay to say this. It looks like there's a British guy. It looks like, okay, in the future, kids won't know shit because they're just going to think mumbo jumbo is a YouTuber. Apparently, apparently he's a YouTuber. All right, let's see. What's the expression mumbo jumbo mean? An object, a superstitious a homage, and fear. Yeah, I knew that, but where did it, where did it come from? Where did the where did the phrase mumbo jumbo come from? It's a West African word. All right, so this is uh, I'm kind of a appropriating West Africanese. I hope these Africanese can handle it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna appropriate this word. It's a fucking cool word, just to say. Mumbo jumbo is just makes me feel good. It really rustles my jimmies. Uh, West African word often cited by historians and etymologists as deriving from the Mandinka. The Mandinka. I'm feeling very Mandinkanese right now. If you if you want to if you want to you want to get into it, uh, Mam 
Mamanjambo. Mandingo. No, it's Mamajambo, which refers to a masked male dancer who takes part in religious ceremonies. In the 18th century, Mumbo Jumbo referred to a West African god. Why in the 18th century? I'm sure there was the god was before that. That sounds sounds a little bit weird. And again, who knows? Maybe all this shit I'm reading is just some fucking bullshit. Maybe Mumbo Jumbo is a god that existed before time and farted and created the universe. And that's why they say it's all mumbo jumbo. Yeah. As you can tell, tonight we're going to be discussing a lot of really fun things. We're going to have open lines, uh, talk about anything, basically. Um, unless it's, wait, what, what, what can we say on Twitch? You said jizz. Hey, we can't talk about jizz. Can talk about simp's. I don't. Know. I think you could have sex on Twitch though. Somebody had. There was a girl that had sex on Twitch. I didn't. I didn't even see the video. But it's like, it's looking for. It. I don't know what the really video is from the screenshots. It was like she's, somebody's like banging her from behind, and like you just see her face. I don't even know. Maybe it was all just a fucking act. Who even knows? I didn't see the video. But apparently some girl was doing it on Twitch and uh, they banned her for a week. Now she's got thousands of people watching her. Before she had about tens and twenties. You know what? Maybe tonight on Nick the Rat Radio, I'm going to have sex with Diane. Diane, come back here. No, put the bat back. Oh, okay. I tell, um, wait, 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 wait. No sex on Nick the Rat Radio tonight. Kamika. Kamika. Yeah, they say she... Did, did anybody actually... Servo, did you see this video? Did anybody see Kamika? Kamika's sex act? What was this sex act? Did you see a nipple? You know, window reflection. I'm starting to think this is fake. Starting to think that this whole um, Kamika having sex on Twitch was mumbo jumbo. <laughs> Zoom enhance. Yeah, I really need to fucking bust this nut with this magnifying glass. And quick, let me look in that reflection. It's weird. I was just reading something about that enhance thing and I skipped over the article. Anyway, tonight, tonight. Wednesday night. It's basically Halloween. It's September. I'm just saying summer's fucking over. I'm so sick. The, the, the whole summer, there was, there seemed to be more mosquitoes than ever. I don't know if, uh, if anybody's in the northeastern hemisphere of uh, America. I don't think that's what they call it, but the northeastern quadrant, the... Uh, Northeast of North America. Either way, there's been a lot... I think there's been a lot more mosquitoes this year than any other fucking year. It's just... I, it's, it's, like, it's like I don't even want to go outside anymore. Like, oh, I'd, I'd like to go outside and just sit outside and enjoy the weather. No, I there was not one day I was able to just fucking sit outside and enjoy the weather because there would just be fucking... Uh, there's so many mosquitoes out there. And those mosquito sprays don't do shit. You never know if there's... You just like spraying something on you. What are you spraying on you? I don't... Poison. Something. It's like bug farts. Makes bugs not want to come near you. But they don't give a fuck. Bugs still come at you. You can't... That's what I enjoy. Can't I just fucking go outside and enjoy the fucking weather? Like, oh yeah, the weather's okay. But guess what? The bugs are loving it. And if you go out there, you're just gonna... You're constantly smacking yourself. It's really goddamn sadistic. We need to find a way to murder these mosquitoes. I'm thinking about like a bubble or a mesh or a maybe a vacuum. Is there like a handheld vacuum that we could just like kind of suck the fucking maybe there's like a, a fucking air gun 
Is there a way to torture and slowly rip off the appendages of these mosquitoes? All I know is if I ever see a mosquito, the first thing I'm doing is killing it by Leno Mad. Mosquito laser. Seen a thermocell pop up in the chat, which is uh, something I know from uh, Steve camping with Steve, hunker down. Best wishes to you, Steve. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, Steve from um, uh, camping with Steve. I forget what the name of it's called. Is uh. He always uses thermocell. He says it works. But it just feels weird spraying DEET on you. DEET, I don't even know if it even really works. It's still, they still come after you. And, like, what is DEET? Is DEET like deer piss? It's like, it's like some weird chemicals. And you're spraying it all over yourself. And what about your face? You're going to spray it on your face and your ears. and, and your... So I just, I'm not a big fan of spraying some fucking poison on my body even if it might not be poisonous to me I don't really, I really just, it's not my idea of a good day and Steve from Blue's Clues no Steve from I think it's called Camping with Steve he uh, does stealth camping he goes uh, he, uh, he like goes out into like um, urban areas often he doesn't do it that much anymore like she's on break right now for Stuff, uh, but he he would like uh, camp behind like signs on the highway and shit. Nothing too scary or dangerous or illegal. If cops caught him, they would just tell him to move on. Probably get out of here, dude. Yeah, he just got like a million subscribers on uh, on YouTube. Fun fun to watch. If you just got a yeah, actually servo. So we wrote stealth camp, stealth camping, homelessness. People, uh, some people get mad at him for uh, the uh, like cultural appropriation of homeless people. Like, what are you, what are you doing, Steve? This, 
are you trying to make money off of what homeless people live through? It's, it's get over yourself, homeless people. It's ooh, yeah, he's Canadian. Steve Wallace, Willis, Steve something, Steve, uh, and crazy neighbor. Joe Robinette. I don't know who Joe Robinette is, but whoa, 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 whoa. I'm, uh, hold on one second here. Diane, why do you want me to? Diane keeps giving me this phone number. She keeps saying to call it. I'm not. No. I'm not going to call this number. Money involved? All right, maybe I'll call a little bit later. Money can't hurt, can it? I guess it can, you know. Get a... Let me drop some money off of a building and hit you. Oops. <laughs> I, I, I was... Uh, I saw the I saw the movie uh, Nope. I went to see Nope. There was the uh, three dollar three dollar movie ticket thing going on this this uh, weekend. So uh, I went to the movies and I went to see Nope because uh, I do like uh, Jordan Jordan Peele. What is it's a key key Jordan Key. Uh, so I always get I always get their their uh, names mixed up and it's so. And so disrespectful to do that, but uh, key something. I just don't know his last name. Okay. Uh, nope. Nope. Key. Nope. Key. Yeah, it's not key at all. It's Jordan Peele. There we go. Duh. It's just that. Key and Peel are just so amazing. If you ever want to kill some time and you like Key and Peel, then just, you can sit there for hours and watch that shit. Uh, but yeah, I saw, I saw the movie Nope for three bucks. And uh, it was worth it was worth more than three bucks. It was like it was like a five dollar movie. I would pay five dollars to see Nope and be happy. Um, it was I, I liked it more than Us. I liked it a lot more than us, uh, but it, it was still not as good as uh, Get Out. Get Out was still the uh, best Jordan Peele movie, definitely. Because when you watch Get Out, it's like, wow, that was that was a great movie, just all around. Um, us looked cool, it's kind of got some cool scenes, but overall, it was just like kind of fairy tale fantasy world. Is this? It doesn't even. It didn't make sense to me. So I didn't really like that. Uh, but, you know, this movie had... Uh, I don't know. Should I, should I give spoilers about this movie? I won't give spoilers about... Nope. I won't... Uh, but I will say the, the acting was good. A couple of scenes were really cool. The overall premise was kind of... Eh. But uh, he was... He was... Uh, it's... It's got a lot of cool metaphor. Like the story had, it was, it was, it was a well, well wove, woven, a well woven, worry story. It was a well woven story. Yeah, it was a, a well crafted story. Um, but the movie itself was just okay. Well crafted story. Some cool stuff in it. Um. Uh, Three bucks. Three bucks. You can't go wrong. You gotta God bless COVID for fixing the movie theater ticket prices. Like, that's how much these movies should cost. Let's like, go see. Yeah, sit in a room with 30 other people for an hour. Eh, $15. How about three? Yeah, that, that works better. How about how about a dollar? Uh, you can kill them on the concessions. But yeah, Nope is, nope is good. I enjoyed it, and uh, I'd like it. I liked it a little bit more after I saw. It. Like, uh, I was in the theater. I was watching. I was like, eh. and then after I was thinking about it a little bit more, I was like, okay, I see what he's going for. It's a lot of metaphors, but they go together. That's cool. 
Um, but overall, yeah, so, uh, nope. I'd give it. I'd give it a yeah. Yep. Sure. Nothing too. Nothing too crazy. Wait, what's going on over here? And so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, servo linked the uh the sun. I just went in and uh it's uh, got a picture of the girl's face on the Twitch. She's, looks like she's farting and stuff. It says watch the video, but it's not gonna be the video though. It says contains views that okay, let's see what this is here. Alright, where's the window where you can see? Yeah, I think yeah. All right, so that's the video. She giggles and wiggles around a little bit. Oh, fucking. It's... All right, everybody. This is what I want everybody to do. I want everybody. Whoa. I want everybody to go to uh, Twitter uh, or uh, Mastodon. Or um, uh, tick, TikTok. And I want you to tell the world that you saw Nick the Rat having sex on tonight's episode of Nick the Rat Radio. Get me banned from Twitter, please. Get me banned from Twitch. Get me banned from YouTube for a week. Get a million more viewers. Just let everybody know that you, you say, hey, you ever see Nick, Nick the Rat's tail? Well, watch episode 351. You could see it. In the reflection of his glasses at about three minutes and 33 seconds in. <laughs> What's more disturbing are the faces she's making is the angle of her elbow. It's, um, but that, that stupid face is what, what sold the whole world. When I was scrolling through the news feed and I saw that, I was like, was this girl taking a crap on, on stream? All it takes is just one little screenshot of a uh, a person's face. Usually, it works very well with women, but with men it works too. That's why whenever you go to like YouTube or any other boomer video fucking warehouse and you scroll through the thumbnails, it's always like a it's always like a face that either looks like they're taking a shit or or they're jizzing or getting their their, their shit kicked in. They're always like, oh, it's like that's fucking sad it's sad what um uh, reality is but hey that is reality because it caught my eye whenever i see some dude or lady jizzing or shitting or getting their stuff kicked in i'm i'm there i'm watching we're both or all trice get your shit kicked in while you're jizzing and you're shitting trifecta of fecal Shit. Ugh. Anyway, um, uh, the let's listen to a a voicemail nine one seven seven. You know what? Wait, let's wait for the voicemails. Let's uh take a quick break. Come back and thank some people. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah, let's listen to translucent morning. Bye, props. <laughs>
Welcome back to Nick the Rat Radio. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, something, uh, something needs to change with Nick the Rat Radio. I, I haven't posted the last two episodes yet. An interview with the lovely Dame Jennifer. It's just that uh, I haven't done the artwork yet for him. I'm, uh, I'm not hitting an art slump. I'm hitting an art uh, change. I'm hitting a change where it's uh, uh, the something something is changing, and I'm, uh, I just have to I have to work through the change to be able to do it. And it's it's slowing me down. It's slowing me down, and we're gonna get through it. Um. Yeah. Also, also, the, I'm not promoting the show very much lately because I'm not posting these things and I'm not keeping up with it. Everything has fallen off. Everything is just fall. It, it, it's felled off. It felled, it felled it. It folded it. It's gone. Look, the chat room's not even moving. I'm all here doing this for myself here, except for a couple of people that did help create the show by uh, donating. You go to nickthreat.com, click donate. You could also click on social, and there's a P.O. box. You can go there. And you can do all that shit, too. But either way, I love all of you. Here we go. We got uh, Nick the Rat Radio P.O. Box 90549, Brooklyn, New York, 11209. I do it for you. Do it for your whaler. Cheers to you, Abuela. I'm doing it for your pop pop, your big mama. Do it for Fat Joe. Do it for. Right, let's see. It's weird that these things double up. Do it for your big bootied Polish Slavic nanny. Um, Sir Doctor. King Lord Mike Crotch, PhD. 42 cents. This is funny. I've never actually looked at this signature before. And now I'm looking at it and I can't stop looking at it. It's very weird looking. That looks like a, a prehistoric dinosaur bone or something. Do it from moldy wheat. Man, never do it. Never do it from moldy weed. All right, let's open up the second one. I'm sure this is also from Doctor Mike Crotch. It uh, feels like it. Let's see if we get uh, get that there. That's a uh, Nick the Rat. See this? I'm not lying. These things are real. I'm getting these these checks for a whole big whopping. 40 doozers. Look at that. Big old 40 doozer. And a check. Here, here's the here's the signature. You gotta check out the signature. What is this? Anyway, let's uh let's open this next one here. Let's get this over here. Get this right here. All right. Let's get right there. You could you could probably get a nail file, run it across the weed, the, I mean the walls in the sewer, and get a good chunk of weed off that just from stuff that I've grown. From. All right, there we go. It's another 40 deucer. Another 40 deucer. There we go. Let's get this out. Oh, man. Thank you, doctor. You give me a reason to exercise and walk to the P.O. box. Yep. Check that out. Another 40 deucer. Thank you so much, uh, my crotch, Dr. My crotch, there is zero and 42 slash 100. There you go. Uh, we also have the you go to the donate, click donate, and that's the, via PayPal. Let's see if anybody donated this week. I did see somebody cancel their donation. Probably they saw... There's probably a lot of people seeing that I didn't post the last two episodes on on the website. They're on, they're on YouTube, which is fucking sad. 
that there um, that I'm posting it there before I actually post it to the site. Um, yeah, well, things are we're gonna fix that soon. Okay. Uh, let's see who did donate though. Somebody bought something on Redbubble. 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 Most of the cover art that I do, I do put on products on Redbubble, and you can buy them there as well. Yeah, I got a sale for a two dollar sticker. I made thirty three cents, baby. Uh, let's see. We got. We have. Oh. Oh. What is this? What is this? Wow. August 31st was, yeah, we, we got zero donations this week. We have one canceled donation. We have a, uh, what is this here? Wait, hold on one second. Really? There's zero donations? Well, you know what that means. Time to play some advertisements. So uh, uh, sit back, uh, relax, and get ready to have things sold to you. Marshall, he just stuck up the bank. He's headed for Deadwood. You'll never get away with this, Slippery Sam. Marshall Bob is riding Blaze, the fabulous new galloping horse from Mattel. See, his legs actually move just like a real horse. There's no other riding horse anywhere that gallops like Blaze. Now watch this. When you bounce on Blaze, he romps along like a frisky coat. He gallops when you rock back and forth on him, but he's so safe, you just can't tip over. Blaze is the safest, strongest horse made. Okay, Slippery. This is the end of the line. Almost got away, Marshal, if it weren't for that light and fast horse of yours. Where'd you get him? You can get Mattel's Blaze wherever toys are sold. And just wait till Dad sees how easy it is to set up. Just pop him out of the box, spread the stand, and tighten just one bolt. That's all there is to it. And see how safe and solidly built Blaze is. You can tell it's Mattel. It's swell. The lawyers of Optar are now serving the sewers of Brooklyn, New York. Spilled hot coffee all over yourself? The lawyers of Optar are now serving the sewers of Brooklyn, New York. Incorporate your business? Murder one? Call 917-719-5923 and arrange for your free consultation today. Post bail? Sucked out of the sewer? Listen to what our satisfied customers have to say about our service. The lawyers of Oktar got results. The lawyers of Oktar were very professional in handling my case. It was the best call that I ever made. Call 917-719-5923. And we'll review your case for $69.99. And ask for Zindu. God wants blood, and your ancient dagger is too small to cut it. You need a sacrificial sewer sword. You don't need no stinking dagger. The sacrificial sewer sword will speed up any bloodletting needs by at least 100. Spill the blood of three virgins standing back to back with just one swipe. Drain your victims in minutes as opposed to ours. Stop wasting your time and start performing rituals like a master with the sacrificial sewer sword. For more details, call 
Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Nick the Rat uh, Radio, uh, brought to you by the Dark Sewer Network, which is run by a giant evil corporation filled with scientists making lovely products for you, mostly from mayonnaise, it seems. But, uh, Diane, I called that number, and uh, nobody picked up. But the phone lines are open now, right, Diane? Uh, if you'd like to give a call and we could talk about nothing together, that'd be awesome. Um, wait, that's weird. Where's the fucking button over here? Hold on one second, people. Uh, you sure that our show's not over? Yeah, it's not over yet. Definitely not over yet. No, it's over. I haven't turned on my fan yet. Why is the show over? I haven't turned on my fan. I'm just... The show's over. I would have turned on my fan. I haven't turned on my fan. Just saying, I haven't turned on my fan. So. Uh, there's another fan down the hall. I'll uh, call you back. Trey, what do you got there? Can I have some? Um, is Diana furry too? Uh, a, I'm not a furry. I was born this way. And B, I waxed Diane way too much for her to be furry. Part of her contract agreement. A lot of waxing going on down here. Uh, wax on, wax off. But when it comes off, there's hair. Uh, you could call and... Tell me if you're Harry or not. 917-719-5923. It's almost midnight in the sewer. It's five minutes till. Looking at my watch. Damn, that's a I got a big old bone right there. Look at that one. Oh you ever just sit around and touch your you touch your bones? Oh hey, hey everybody, look. Kick me off! Kick me off Twitch! I'm rubbing my my boner. Oh! Everybody saw it too. Please, please, fucking ban me for a week. I only do the show once a week. I did have that crazy weekend where I was playing a lot of fucking video games, but that's not every week. I don't know how some of these streamers do this shit. Where they just like every every day. Well, they they they. Well, I don't understand how the the streamers that don't get paid do it every day. But, you know, if you got, like, two, three, four hundred people watching you, I got 5,000, 6,000, 8,000 million right now watching me. So I only need to do it, like, once a week. What am I talking about? Hello, Nick. This is uh, Labia Menorah from the synagogue. On... I'm calling you because we found that Moyle can perform your microcircumcision <laughs> without the use of the Da Vinci robotic system, so yes. everything will stay kosher. Let's do it. Give me a call. Rabbi Beitzbitstein is available all next week, so your conversion can proceed right on schedule. Okay, great. baby? Great. You call Miss Menorah to confirm your appointment. Okay, dear? Bye-bye. I've been praying for a micro micro circumcision moil professional recently i've been using this thing right here this is how i this is how i got in touch with them uh, for people that are listening I'm at the uh, second fan 
confused right now but I'm starting to think that everybody there should be a test where everybody has to make a, uh, a bowl sing you have to if you can't make a bowl sing then I think you should be shipped off to Australia I think there should only be one place in the world where there's non bowl uh, singer bowl bowls because if you don't know how to make the bowl sing then you don't know how to you don't know how to touch physical uh, uh, stuff like, did you hear? Did you hear that? It, it that was not death. It wasn't dominoes. It wasn't the moil. That was a singing bowl. I think it was the Tie Fighter or something. T t Tibetan. I don't even know what that is. Um, about to make a bowl sing. Oh, me too, man. Let me fucking smoke this shit right here. Uh, if you wanna, whoa, it's midnight in the sewer. Bam, ba, da, ba, da, ba. Wait, hold on. I, I could. Do this instead of making the bowl sing. You just go like this. I don't want to wake everybody up. It's midnight in the sewer. But yeah, yeah, it took me a while to get that bowl to sing too. Hey, Nick, look, we really need to talk about your, uh, your recent rash of tardies. This is getting unacceptable, and you keep using the same goddamn excuse. Oh, I had to pee-pee before the show. I did, I You live in a goddamn sewer. Just go wherever. Did you see the and what the fuck does PP stand for? Piss and poop. We're gonna have to teach you how to come on breaks. Oh, I had to That's come PPC. before I came to work. Some bullshit. I don't know. Uh, if you, if you ask, ask nicely on your lunch break, I'll, I'll show you how to massage one out faster. But uh, I'll just have to demonstrate on myself because of some lameo reported me and. Uh, apparently, I can no longer touch my patients. Patients? Patients? I'll teach you how to come faster! <laughs> I love you, Nick. Call me, baby. I'm not calling. You call me. I'm not calling you. You call me. Uh... All right, I'm, I'm looking at my notes here. I don't know if I went over these over previous weeks, but these are these are notes that I wrote down that I said that I wanted to talk about this week, or at least I just I wanted I wanted it to have been t spoke about spoke about. I would like these words to exist in uh, digital form, and if I said it previously, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. I'm probably going to repeat something that I'm about to say, but uh, these things are very important to me, so I think they need to be um, said. Um, the first one that I think that I've already said was, I, I've probably already spoken about fire poles, how they have fire, uh, firehouses have fire poles and it, it helps the firemen get to the, or the fire people, the firefighters to get to the fire trucks faster. So to get the firefighters to the fire trucks and the firehouse faster, they use fire poles so they could slide down the pole to get to the truck from wherever they're doing whatever they're doing upstairs i don't know why why don't they just make firehouses one floor why do i even have a fucking pole uh but there is a pole so why is there no pole in a hospital like why isn't there not a hospital pole a hosp a hospital pole to say uh, if um 
what are they called? Those people that drive the 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 ambulances. It's stra- so it's so strange that um, a hospital, a uh, hospital, paramedics. There we go. Yeah, the paramedics. Paramedics. What does that mean? Is, what does that mean? There's more than one, like a pair. What? It's why aren't they just doctors that drive? Uh, it's are they really even doctors? Do they have PhDs or are they just like are they like interns? They're not parachuting. The para parachuting. What are shooters? Shooter parachute. Well, after you parachute, you need a paramedic. Uh, oh, medics from above. So it's just like they come flying in. Um, so that was one thing I wanted to discuss uh, that I probably repeated. I think I also might have repeated this one, but, um, Dawn, Dawn, the soap, soap, soapy, soapy, soapy Dom, Dawn, you know, the, you you wash your, your, uh, dishes in it. Um, why do they sell it on the show, on the show, on the TV, on uh, media, why do they sell Dawn by showing them clean, like, ducks and stuff covered in, in oil and tar? It's, there's always, there's always these Dawn commercials about rubbing ducks with Dawn. It's like, here, here's, here's the Dawn, here's the duck, we're gonna put the, the, Duck in the dawn. Uh, did they did they wait for an oil spill? Did they go to the oil spill and wait to see a duck go into the oil and then pick it out so they could put the dawn on the duck? Or is this uh, was this pre was this like a pre oiled a pre lubed duck? Did where did the duck come from? Uh, whether camera was just like oh we have a duck we took some footage now it's in the commercial. Now we're going to put Dawn on the duck, and then we're going to have a clean duck after? That upsets me. Uh, And the one thing that I I might not have mentioned was Cthulhu. There's so many pieces of art of Cthulhu where he's like super buff. Like, why is, why is Cthulhu so buff in most of these pictures? They make, like, a really strong diesel-looking Cthulhu. He's, like, he's, like, breaking out of the ocean. Um, he's Chad Cthulhu. Chad Thulu. That's, um, there's, why is Chad Thulu a thing? Why is, like, half the pictures of Cthulhu, like, a big buff dude? It's like, I'm gonna ruin your dreams tonight. Uh, it's, it's pretty silly. Um, it should be more fucking cosmic, like, uh, like early AI art. Yeah, but those things are, those are some things that piss me off. Anyway, it looks like the phone line is broken. So, um, oh wait. What? The FBI? We're getting... Wait, Doggett found us? Really? The FBI agent, he's been looking for us for so long. He didn't find us. Get the fuck out of here, really? Wait, that number you made me call... Hold on, people. Um, Diane, we have to talk. We need to have a meeting. We're gonna, we're gonna take a quick break. Let's listen to some music. Also, by the way, all this music is uh, CC BY 3.0. It's all on SoundCloud. And, uh, well, mostly it's on SoundCloud. Some people, um, I got to expand my horizons. People have been sending me music uh, via, via um, Latin words, uh, other options. Fuck a duck with some... I just came up with an idea. I want to have I want to have Booberry and Lavish on on my show, and I want to have a um, like a um, like a, um, like a game show. I want to make it a game show and have Booberry and Lavish uh, uh, go head to head. I think that would be um, fun. 
I planned it out in my head. Let's see if I can make it happen. I'll, I'll get in touch with your people. I'll send the scientist over there. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yes, yeah, the, the music, uh, 3.0, C point, CB, C by, it's all free. You just have to say their names and give them props. Uh, go to my SoundCloud, go click on things. Ducks do have some weird corkscrew dicks. But yeah, ducks would, the, we had this whole, I remember talking about duck dick. Do you think, do you think they're rubbing, they have to like get the d dick out to wash it? Like, is the dick hole getting oil in it? And do they have to put Dawn in the, the dicks, uh, the ducks, dick duct. Wow, that's a good one. Dawn in the ducks, dick duct. D uh, do you have to dawn up the dicks duct or its dick? Uh, Slowly over Caspian by BVSMV. I'm sorry, BVSMV, for that transition, but that's, you know, sometimes I think we'll be back. Um, uh, D Diane, we have to talk. That's not cool. I called that number because of you. Dog gets calling? Hold fucking sh. I gotta. We'll be back.
Stop, stop calling me. I've recorded this now. Why are they calling me? Alright, look, people. I gotta put this message out there. Alright, look. My wife. Oh, fuck. My wife was abducted by an alien. She was abducted. She was taken from me. And I had proof. I had proof of this. And I gave the evidence to a. I gave to a detective. He seemed like a nice guy. A nice guy. Oh my god. And now. I told him not to call me. I said, don't call me. These things are coming for me. And now he, he wants to do me. He gave me his fucking my number out somewhere. He gave my number. This motherfucker, I can't believe he actually gave my number to somebody. I can't. Okay, look, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Where's the knives? Where are the knives? Oh, I know I got knives somewhere in here. Oh, fuck. Is it in here? It's in the fucking, fucking room with the phone. I'm not answering the phone, man. God, what is this? What the fuck is this shit? Ugh. Mayonnaise? Fucking mayonnaise doing all over this fucking house. I didn't put it here. I didn't put the mayonnaise in there. I didn't put... Why is the toilet bowl filled with fucking mayonnaise, man? Ugh. Oh, God! What was his name? Fucking Detective Doggett or some shit, man. He fucking sounded legit. I fucking gave him my number. I said, don't call me. He's the only one with the fucking number. Fucking, maybe... Maybe I have to go fucking find out about my wife. Maybe he knows about her. Oh, God. Why don't you stop calling me? I can't pick it up, man. I can't know. No! I'm not gonna pick it up. I won't do it. I told you not to call here. That isn't... That is fucking weird. What's going on with my phone? It's the... What are those lights outside? Where's my fucking telescope? It's fucking clutter. Oh my gosh, it's right there. I need the fucking camera. I need the camera. Okay, we're gonna get a picture of this fucker. We're gonna put this shit on the fucking on kiwi trees, whatever the fuck. We gotta put it to get it seen, but we're gonna get this shit out there. Where's my camera? I told him not to call here. They're tracing it. The fucking aliens are fucking tracing my number. They know that I fucking ride it on them. I should have just gave him my wife. I should have just fucking, fucking said that she left me. Oh, fuck. What the fuck do I do? Where's my camera? I feel like I'm fucking on. Fucking, what was in that tea? Jesus fucking Christ, man. Calm down. Just calm the fuck down, man. I'm recording all of this. I'm gonna send it out to the uh, fucking BI. And I'm gonna get this fucking solved, man. The UAPs. They took my wife. I just signed out a fucking issue life insurance policy on her, too. They're gonna send me to jail, man. They're gonna fucking send me to jail. Now these fucking guys are doing this shit to me. What the fuck is that shit? What the fuck is going on? Why is. Things going a little bit closed. Green fog in the house that I can't move so fast. My body was just pulled right through. the fucking phone? The phone's not even here anymore. Where's the phone? Where's the phone? Where is it? I'll fucking find that. Where's the phone?
going on, man?
My wife accused me of stealing her thesaurus. Not only was I shocked, I was appalled, aghast, and dismayed. I escaped from prison, and Rosemary and my escape from the country was engineered, executed, designed, and aesthetically carried off by the noble and beautiful Weatherman Underground. And since we have been in Algeria, we have been under the wise, benign, and loving protection of the Black Panthers, led by the genial genius, Eldridge Cleaver. It is true that in the uh, company of Field Marshal DC of the Black Panther Party and Jennifer Dorn and Mark Kenner, I embarked on an adventurous trip throughout the Middle East to visit the Palestinian guerrillas. All statements that we were ejected from Arab countries or received hostily are distortions and lies by the wicked pig capitalist bourgeois press. My wife asked if I've seen the dog bowl. I said I never knew he did. <laughs> I used to take drugs and I quit, but I'll tell you something, I have nothing against drugs whatsoever. That's kind of weird, huh? You never heard that one? Used to take drugs, quit, and have nothing against them. Wow, never heard that. Let's hear more. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you something else. I know this is not a very popular idea. You don't hear it very often anymore, but it's the truth. <laughs> I have taken drugs before, and uh, I had a real good time. <laughs> what did you expect? Welcome, Sonny. Make yourself at home. Marry my daughter. You've got to remember that these are just simple farmers. These are people of the land, the common clay of the New West. You know, morons. <laughs> the political revolutionary who is not turned on is a political robot, and the power system he espouses will be no improvement on the robot system he seeks to destroy. The political revolutionary must be turned on to seek and tap his internal energy. By the same token, the hippie movement, the process of internal discovery and personal religion, if it is not tied to a social movement, becomes self-indulgent, self-preoccupied, and the energies cannot be channeled and kept moving. Much to our joy, we have seen emerging in the last few months in the very Midwestern heart of Babylon, a movement of acid revolutionaries, turned on freedom fighters, the weathermen underground. Are you conservative or liberal? Probably very liberal. Probably very liberal. Compared to, yeah. Compared to what? Most Americans, yeah. Oh, yeah? How old are you? Uh, 30 years old. And how long have you been a liberal? Probably five to six years, maybe. And you were a conservative prior to becoming a liberal? Very much. And what made you become a liberal? I got a little older, a little smarter. 
Oh, you grew out of it, yeah. And you were tired of being a man. Uh, I was tired of being an idiot, <laughs> but <laughs> you. So you woke up one day. You know what? I'm tired of being a man. I want to be a liberal. I think there are plenty of men that are liberal. Not real men. You really think so? Men who are liberals are betas. Did you grow up close to your mother? Um, I grew up equally close to both parents. Who were you the closest to, your mother or your father? I'd say it was about 50-50 on both. So you were 50% daddy and 50% mama? Exactly, right down the middle. So are you half man, half woman? I don't think that's how male or female works. How does it work? Not like that. Puppy, may I share something with you? Okay. A vision I had in my sleep last night as distinguished from a dream which is mere sorting and cataloging of the day's events by the subconscious. This was a vision, fresh and clear as a mountain stream, the mind revealing itself to itself. In my vision, I was on the veranda of a, a vast estate, a palazzo of some fantastic proportion. There seemed to emanate from it a light from within this gleaming, radiant marble. I had known this place. I, I had, in fact, been born and raised there. This was my first return, a reunion with the deepest wellsprings of my being. Wandering about, I noticed happily that the house had been immaculately maintained. There had been added a number of additional rooms, but in a way that blended so seamlessly with the original construction, one would never detect any difference. Returning to the house's grand foyer, it became a knock at the door. My son was standing there. He was happy and carefree. Clearly living a life of deep harmony and joy. We embraced a warm and loving embrace. Nothing was held. We were in this moment one. My vision ended. I awoke with a Tremendous feeling of optimism and confidence in you and your future. That was my vision of you. You? Yeah. I'm so glad to have had this opportunity to share it with you. I wish you nothing but... Uh, very best in all things. Thank you, Dad. Sorry. <laughs> didn't murder anybody, didn't rob anybody, didn't rape anybody, didn't beat anybody, didn't lose mm, one fucking job. <laughs> Laughed my ass off and went about my day. <laughs> Sorry. Now, where's my commercial? <laughs> Shit, I'll be the guy holding that skillet in that commercial, man. <laughs> that ain't a brain, that's breakfast. <laughs> Let's eat. <laughs> what have we been up? Five days now? I'm fucking starving. <laughs> <laughs> I find that commercial a tad insulting to my intelligence. You know the one? Here's your brain. I've seen a lot of things on drugs, but I have never, ever, ever looked at an egg and thought it was a fucking brain, not once. I have seen UFOs split the sky like a sheet, but I have never looked at an egg and thought it was a fucking brain, not once. I have had seven balls of light come off of a UFO, lead me onto their ship, explain to me telepathically that we are all one and there's no such thing as death. But... I've never looked at an egg and thought it was a fucking brain. Now, maybe I wasn't getting good shit, but, uh...
That's what I hate about the war on drugs. I'll be honest with you. It's what I can't stand. Is all day long we see those commercials. Here's your brain. Here's your brain on drugs. Just say no. Why do you think they call it dope? And then the next commercial is this buds for you. Come on, everybody. Let's be hypocritical bastards. It's okay to drink your drug. <laughs> We meant those other drugs, those untaxed drugs. Those are the ones that are bad for you. Ray, can you not throw your dirty old piss jugs around, please? Hey, Dad, got you some more piss jugs? Oh, excellent, buddy. Right on, man. Ray, there's got to be a better system than this peeing in jugs. You're going to make Barb Leahy mad. Barb doesn't care, Bubs. It's an empty lot. It's not to rid it in the open. Don't worry about it. Ray, the road, buddy. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed or not, Ray, but you're not on the road. Your rig cab doesn't move an inch. Way of the road, Bubs. Well, Ray used to be on the road as a trucker, and that's what truckers do. They're driving along, and they've got deadlines to meet. They don't want to pull in, and park the truck, walk in, take a pee in the toilet and go back out and get in the road. They just have an old jug and they put the bird in it, have a pee, cap it off, and once it's full, they just drill the fucking thing out in the highway. I mean, I don't agree with it. I see where they're coming from trying to make their deadlines, but Ray's been firing them all over the park like he's still driving a truck. Pro-choice always made sense to me because I don't like people telling me what to do. And I was just like, it's your body. Who the fuck am I to tell you what to do with your body? So that always made sense, all right? However, I still think you're killing a baby. <laughs> See? That's where it gets weird. It's not a baby yet. That's what they say, which may or may not be true. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. But I'll tell you, my gut tells me that doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's not a baby yet. That would be like if I was making a cake and I poured some batter in a pan and I put it in the oven, and then five minutes later, you came by and you grabbed the pan, you threw it across the floor. And I went, what the fuck, you just ruined my birthday cake. And then you were like, well, that wasn't a cake yet. It's like, well, it would have been. If you didn't do what you just did, there would have been a cake in 50 minutes. Something happened to that cake, you cake murderer, son of a bitch. Can the future affect the present? Can the present affect the past? Well, according to Bell's theorem, it can. According to Bell's theorem, everything in the universe affects everything else every which way in space-time. So therefore, what I am doing right now, this very moment, is affecting everything back to the Big Bang. And uh, things that are happening a million years in the future are affecting me standing in this winery today, right now. It sort of makes you stop and think, that kind of thing. It's sort of like the young lady named Bright, whose speed was much faster than light. And she departed one day in a relative way and returned on the previous night. Even so, there's the persistent delusion that time is being used up and you can't go back to the past. Hello? Hello. Please listen to this message from the Financial Hardship Loan Center. This is a final attempt to reach you regarding a $29,000 financial hardship loan that can be used for any reason, including paying off debt or unexpected bills. Press 1 to continue your application or press 9 to be removed. Your call is being transferred with no wait time. Calls record. Thank you. In order to qualify for the financial hardship program, you must have over $10,000 of unsecured debt. This debt can include credit cards, personal loans, or medical debt. If you would like to be removed from our list or if this does not apply to you, press 9. If you have over $10,000 of debt and would like to apply for a hardship program, press 5. <coughs> Good afternoon, my name is Selena. How are you doing today? Hi, how are you? I'm okay so far, sir. Um, it's Wednesday. Are you looking to apply for the hardship program? 
Oh, it is Wednesday, my dudes. Um, I am trying to apply for this. It's 10000 in debt, right? Uh, unsecured debt, yes, sir. Yeah. So medical bills, personal loans with the bank or credit union. Yeah, I've got a, a personal loan currently for, I think, thirty three k. All right, that's with the bank? Yeah. Opinion, yeah, a uh, shitty bank. Well, that wasn't very helpful. A life that doesn't follow a paint-by-numbers timeline or any timeline at all. A life where anything can happen at any time. A life without limitations. Remember what you said about silence the first time you heard it? I didn't know it sounded so alive. So what's it gonna be? Actually, there is a there is a little reason for concern. This is the most eminently chargeable form of entertainment that you can imagine. If it goes over the network, there's no question about it. Yeah, you could have a whole nation of people not only watching it too, but being inside of it and losing complete trust with their physical reality and being dominated even more. Uh, oh, but that's been happening. That's been happening for ever since the invention of print. I think we ought to. I think it should elevate the status of our artificial experience we already have. In other words, somebody who has not watched television, somebody who has not read novels, somebody who has not watched plays or movies is simply ignorant of the culture he lives in. And so watching television is an important part of being alive today, as artificial reality will be in the future. Next question, Devin. Bob? I didn't, I didn't hear the question. What did he say? Bob, what did Devin have? Well, in the first place, uh, 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 the advances in the consciousness exploration by electrical and electronic means or machines and so on 
have not encountered the same hostility as the psychedelic research. And I have come to the general conclusion that the American ruling class is not as paranoid about machines as they are about chemicals. So I don't uh, foresee any attempt to suppress this kind of technology at all. It's going to have so many benefits for medicine, for instance, for education, for so many fields. I just don't see this technology being suppressed or even any attempt to suppress it. Uh, the church, who knows? In Ireland, the Catholic Church put up a tremendous fight to keep television out because they felt television would let in alien signals. And they were right. Once Ireland got television, the birth rate started falling. They didn't have condom ads on British television. It's just getting a British, uh, getting these alien signals, the Irish spontaneously became less Catholic. Well, they still go to church, but they have smaller families, so something is going on there. So I expect with that precedent, uh, some fundamentalists and other groups will denounce this technology as the work of Satan. But nobody pays any attention to them, really. File Explorer is a jar. When it's late at night, 
I like to rub mayonnaise all over my titties. Get Dark Sewer Mayo Lubrication for your titties today. Made from 100% real mayonnaise. Rub the mayo right into your titties and you're gonna feel great. My mom used mayonnaise lubrication on her titties and they're fucking gorgeous. That bitch is 69 years old and her titties look like they're on a nice fresh 13 year old girl. They are the, the, oh my God, you just gotta get some of this mayonnaise. Squirt it all over your titties, rub it in, grab your nipples because they might fly the fuck off because this lubrication is amazing. Order now, 917-719-5923. Thank you. by the Samuel L. Bronkowitz production of That's Armageddon. The most realistic depiction of death, doom, and destruction in motion picture history. See George Lazenby as the architect. I tell you, this building is unsafe. Barbara Radnitz as the nurse. Jack Roberts as the governor. Governor, the city's in flames. The National Guard's powerless to deal with the situation. The dam is threatening to burst. The airport has been seized by terrorists. And the nuclear power plant's about to blow in a second. Governor, what are we going to do? Donald Sutherland as the clumsy waiter. I don't know what the hell has been going on for the past. I don't even know where we are right now. Um, let's see. I do remember thanking slowly over the Caspian by BVSMV. Um, I didn't thank I don't by Marcus Howard or lost in thought by ghost drifter. All these people are on SoundCloud. They're all free. You could use all this music. You could make a motion pic picture. You could make a a motion pornography picture, I'm sure, with dark sewer mayonnaise. Just make sure the age of consent is legal for whatever you're doing with this mayonnaise and you're filming. Make sure what you're filming is legal. But if you use this music, it's legal to use the music because it's CC by 3.0. You could use it. You could fucking just thank the artist. Ow. Ow. It's almost midnight in another sewer right now. Thank you so much for any of the super dark, super sewer chatters that are hanging out now. 18-year-old mayo. Uh, I'm going to open the phone lines. And I'm just going to... I'm going to tell you about something that... 
is an unpopular opinion. It would be unpopular with me as well, but my opinion has changed. Now, the opinions that are expressed tonight are not part of uh, anybody's other's opinions, but uh, caller? The Nick the Red. Hey, welcome my to guy. the show. You made it through. I did. How's it going? I was I was about to go on uh I was about to talk about a very unpopular opinion. <gasps> oh. Do you do you know the interviewer named Nardwal Nardwar Nardwar Nardwal? Nardwar? Nardwar? Yes. Now From, do you like them or uh, do you BC. don't like them? I do like them. I used to, I don't anymore. Did he do something? No, he didn't do anything. Specifically? Oh, actually, he did do something specific, specific, specifically. And you know what it is. I'm going to say is exactly the reason you like him is the reason I don't like him. Well, let me guess. I'm going to try and, I'm going to try and take a guess here. Yeah. Are you ready? Is it when he interviewed Justin Trudeau? And he got him to play the sticky flip game. Caller, how about I tell you about a super personal uh, opinion that happened to you? A little, a little instance of your life that happened to you that only you might know about that nobody else in the world is going to give a fuck about. What if I had that one little... You might have had this little thing a long time ago that you remember. That only you remember. That doesn't mean anything to anybody else but you. I mean, that just sounds like targeting the epitome of the uh, celebrity's G-spot. And his interviews aren't even very enlightening because I we would get a story about that little incident that happened to you, which will mean nothing to nobody else. Sure, it's a little insight into a, a celebrity's life, but Nardwar just asks questions that doesn't matter to anybody, and the answers have nothing to do with nothing at all. It's well, I mean, like, I, I, I can, I can see what you're saying. The immediate spot that I go to is the exact opposite, and just kind of having a copy pasta script of pre-generated questions from clear channel or some stupid shit like that but why not a common experience i think questions are better when the answer is a uh, something we've all experienced like I, I when i first started watching it i was i was drawn in i was like oh wow snoop dog had a toy of a comedian when he was a kid because he likes red fox or something and it's like that well, was a waste of so time, Nard. Like you're like, oh, and he, and they make it seem like he's a magician. Like, oh, he knows something about you that's that somebody fucking obviously told him. It's not like he fucking knows. It's not like Nardwar is watching you sleep. It's like his whole the skit of her interviewing somebody is like, oh wow, how'd you know that? Well, no, you know how he fucking knows that. Somebody told him you celebrity. Why, why, why should I feel, um, why do I feel happy when a celebrity's like kerfuffled, fucking mumbo jumboed, mambo, mambo hamboed? Just floor on the jaw, all agape. Also, I'm just hating on Nardwar because I'm just drunk. And I was just thinking about that. I'm not, I'm not hating on Nardwar. He's, he's probably well off and doing good, but you know. Well, so two things come to mind. Uh, it's not always the happy-go-lucky um, dopamine hit that uh, certain celebrities will exhibit. One specifically is David Cross, uh, comedian, man, show I think. No, I know I'm David sorry, Cross. Mr. Yes. Show. Um, he was kind of pissed off that Nardward had went and dug in on a story of David Cross bringing this gimp mask on a plane. <clears throat> uh, Cross was pretty crossed about it. He was like, how do you know that? You're not supposed to know that. 
I bet you Cross um, wasn't really crossed about it. He was just acting crossed. Otherwise, he wouldn't have let the interview play. He would say, you're not allowed to air, air that interview, if he really fucking cared. So it's all smoke and mirrors being blown up my ass, and when people pretend that it isn't, it really pisses me off. Because really? <laughs> you know David Cross could have said, don't air this interview, right? Like, if he was really mad, if he was really upset that that story got out, he would say, don't air this interview. He was acting. Uh, He's a I, comedian. He's trying to make it seem like there's tension. Who knows if that story is even true? They might have fucking spoken behind. Hey, by the way, Narwara, here's a weird story that never happened, but I'm going to tell you it did, so you could tell it to me, and I'm going to act upset. I mean, Who my knows? spider sense wasn't necessarily tingling in that regard. Well, because uh, Cross is a great actor, and Narwhal, he's a great actor, too. you tell me Narwhal acts like that while he's having sex? While he's having... I hope so. He's, he's like, let me tell you something about your father that you don't even know about. Uh, there is uh, one of my favorite ones. I actually I got some pretty good ISOs out of it. One of my favorite ones is when he uh, interviewed Odorous Urungus, former lead singer of Guar. That's a good one. I've been watching the uh, Guar, uh, the making of Guar or whatever. It's the the documentary. Uh, this, yeah, this is Guar. Yeah, it's it's I I got I want to watch I I got through like half of it. It's fucking awesome. It's really gave me a whole new respect for Guar. So two of those dudes that are in the documentary have actually been in their houses before, uh, invited, mind you. <laughs> I didn't break in. Um, but Hunter Jackson, who played Techno Destructo, I've been to his place. And then PC, well, yeah, well, the guitar player. Well, I hung, out with, I hung out with David Cross's brother. With his mother, with his maja, his, his brother. But anyway, oh, his uh, brother. Yeah, cool dude. With what's his name? Criss Cross. Go on about Guar. I'm not here to. Uh, Pete. Yeah, I mean that gunshot wound. They don't necessarily uh, shed enough light. Maybe is a way to. To phrase it, they don't necessarily get into like the stuff that he's still dealing with in the current day. And, uh, you know, I didn't see anything in person, but I'd seen some videos posted in a binge that he had. And oh my God, dude. It, that, I mean, it's, it, it's a brutal position to be in living with that sort of wound. Uh, you know, something that is still like, you know, it'll get infected. And then next thing you know, like the hole where he got shot and all the surgery, you know, it opens back up and it gets infected. And then he's, um, because his innards got so messed up from the gunshot wound that, um, he yeah. like ends up shitting out of his belly button on occasion. Have you ever it's been so wounded, Collar? Define wound, I mean. Well, you define wound. It's like porn. I can't define it. You know when you see it. When you see a wound, you know a wound. I would, in my life, I've maybe possibly been a little, no, I haven't really ever, I've been maybe like, I got hit in the head a few times. You know, you, get, you stand up, you bang your head, you, get, you fall, you bang, boom, bam, psk, bam, psk, black. But yeah, have you ever been like? I guess a wound would mean like like open open flesh. Um, yeah, I mean I've had stitches, uh, clocked the bone around my eyebrow uh, twice as a kid. Both times resulted in stitches. By a what? Um, I think I was running and jumping into a bed the first time as a kid and clocked my face on the wooden windowsill. Caller, I don't know if you know this, but right here, I have a piece of that bed. That bed that you jumped and you hit your head into, and then you, you remember you cried? 
You cried for a while, right? I, I have a piece of that bed, and I think that you should actually, have it. I'm gonna. I wanted to give it to you. I I do have to fact check you, make the right if that's acceptable. I want to make sure that this is a consensual process before we proceed. Sure, I'm just making fun of Narwar. 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 Uh, Dad said that uh, you know made it to the emergency room late at night. Didn't cry. Didn't cry. So they put the stitches in. Just kind of sat there and do what you do. Live That's what life real. is. Yeah. Life just gets worse when you're older because you understand it more or something. And then again, it just goes away yeah. after a while. It hurts for a little bit. Yeah, I got. And you're like, yeah, and then it goes away. And you're like, ah. Then just then you have the uh, then you have like the the. The PSTD, the P, the, uh, you get it. It's like uh, mental wounds. It's it's you relive things. When you relive it in your head, that's when it's the worst. But you don't want to forget it either. I think because there's if you're... strong arguments in favor of that for sure. Um, I did get five staples in the head. I had a bus driver roll me out of my bunk in my sleep. A bell about six feet. A bus driver stapled a, a bus ticket to your head? By the way, caller, I have a bus ticket right here with your name on it, and it has didn't pay, and it has five staple holes in it. Do you know? You want to tell us a story about this? Well, again, Mr. Rat, I'm sorry. I kept my student ID from college well past its expiration date to utilize free bus rides. <laughs> I'm part of the problem. Not really. <laughs> I mean, it's it's entirely my fault. By the way, when, it was too hot, too cold. When you too steal windy, a little, rainy, fr- uh, when you steal a little from people that steal a lot from you, it's okay. When you steal a lot from people that never stole from you, that's bad. When you steal anything mm. from somebody that's never stole from you, that's bad. So you're kind of into the eye for an eye. I don't know. There is a there's a yin yang a pull. Is yin yang cultural appropriation? Can I say yin yang or um, hocus po- is hocus pocus legal? Um, that I guess the, it depends on who owns the rights. <laughs> the witches. Those bitches. I'm stealing. I'm I'm appropriating those those bitches culture. The culture of the bitch. That'd be a great song. The culture of the bitch. Do, 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 do. I appropriated <laughs> the culture. In, growing in my petri dish. It's the culture of the bitch. Yeah, do not, Dillweed in the chat says witches be crazy. Do not fuck with a witch. If you think that you know or smell or sense a witch around, do not. I repeat, do not fuck with them. <laughs> It's, it's like it's like a Karen, but uh, worse. It's like a Karen, but you might die. See, I'm not I'm not on board the Karen train either necessarily. Well, Karen train's too old too now. I haven't heard about a Karen yeah, in a long I, time. Yeah, but I mean, it's just a it was a forced tired meme already. I think when it really was deployed widely. Um. Can't we just go back yeah, to call them insane now, people? Well, just be like, hey, see, you're crazy. I do like the one of the best definitions that I've heard is from Larry with the ass codes, assholes seeking to control others. I think that's a more equitable term. <laughs> Larry! Larry's a very Larry. smart person. He knows. He knows what the fuck is up. Knows that you should leave people the fuck alone. I think that's uh, mm-hmm. very good. We should um, we should have open arms and a smile and a wave, and then leave people the fuck alone. You're like, yep. hey, here I am. Oh, you don't want me to be here? Goodbye. Yeah. And there's people like they'll just come and they'll just rob you. It's, how many, What do you think the percentage of the population of the planet would just rob you blind if they could? 
I'm, this is a serious mm. question. What do you think would be the percentage of the population of the planet globally? Well, I don't have exact numbers, but I can right. tell high, you low, came to mind. half, half and half, higher or lower. There's A, B, or C. The, the percentage of people that would steal from you. If they could, if like, if you, if I, if I could just take everything from you and zero consequences, do you think I would? I, it's hard for me to answer that one because I don't think that you would. How many people do you think might? You ear holes. On the planet Earth, how many people you, if you were just like, here, steal from me, how many people do you think would? Well, that'd be a gift. <laughs> Um, 51%. <laughs> one right above that. <laughs> Wouldn't it be like 99% even, but then there's that one percenters that, that got there from stealing from people. So I think it's, I think it's a hundred percent of people. I think even I would, if you said, if you came up to me with something that I wanted and you said, Hey, I'm not going to, it's mine and I don't want you to take it, but nothing will happen if you do take it. I might fucking take that shit. I might be like, Pfft. obviously he boobies. didn't. Boobies. <laughs> Hello. Bye. Take your boobies and walk on away. Walk on. Bye. Do, 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 do. Pop, Pop them off. off. You know, fun fact. Um, Cannibalism. Bar would routinely right. <laughs> ch chop the boobs off of a bad biker bitch, but then she would like use them as nunchucks to fight. It's very strange. Actually, I think it's probably pretty low the number of people that would steal. I would say in my 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 very positive outlook on life would be seven percent of the population of the planet Earth would maliciously take something from you if they could get away with it. Now, does that number change if people are under duress and uh, general necessities and provisions can't be found at the... That question the is null because we are on Earth, which is a gigantic vagina that just keeps on giving. It's just like, here's stuff. Here's more stuff. Guess what? Here's, there's just stuff here. There's, you're going to have stuff for generations. Good luck. An asteroid might hit you. Here's stuff. So no, I don't think that, I think your question is, I don't think we're ever going to live in a Mad Max world. Unless fucking we drop nukes, it's but then it's gonna be mutants and stuff. There's not just hockey stick fucking cars and uh, oh, sorry. Um, caller. I'm a little, I'm a little more um, mutant pilled than I was uh, pre 2020. If I was to be completely fair and honest, you're a mutant. I think the likelihood of a small population or small percentage of the population uh, ends up basically in, um, God, what's the name of that movie? Will Smith, It's the End of the World. Oh, you're talking trying about trying to Last Man on Earth with Vincent Price? No, the original, well, the one, the original one that I can think of, I think there was another one too. There was, yeah, it was like Z, was, Z the, Z the man or something. It was Omega Man. Ma yes. o Omega Man with uh, Charlton Heston. Charlton Heston, yeah, yeah. It's been um, fucking re I am legend. Yeah. I am legend with Will Smith. Okay, well, you, um, so you think we're, there's going to be a, a, a zombie outbreak? Or a mutant human hybrid uh, uh, ultimate you know, predator. I I think the 
mutant human hybrid is for me personally it's a little more on the table now and what but they would be mindless though is, do you think they would be mindless well they they work together that's the stupid thing about zombies is they work they don't try to eat each other I mean, would you want to eat something that smells like decaying flesh? Well, or do you want zombies should burn like fire. It should be like an outbreak. It should be like, oh, flesh, I'll eat. But they should be eating each other, too. It should be very orgyistic. I want to see a zombie movie where the zombies eat each other, but it's just a fucking flesh mound of just fucking people eating each other <laughs> until flesh there's nothing calling. left. You don't you don't ever see bones in zombie movies either. It's always flesh. Just flesh, flesh wound. Just tis a flesh wound. Um I guess to kind of bolster why I feel like the mutant thing might be more of a possibility. Oh, yeah. Uh, just with the I I really think with enough of the mRNA injections <laughs> they're just gonna get some be some pretty messed up people. Uh, and the, I mean, that's. Do you want to know something scary? What's that? MRNA is old, old, ancient. It's an ancient technology. Like pre Egyptian? No, no, no. Like 10 years ago, maybe 20. Oh, yeah. I mean, I thought that's what the... They were using it for a cocaine addiction vaccination. It's right? an ancient technology. Do you know what they have for our future in 10 years from now, what they already have today? The little Logan's Run? Yes. Uh, crystals yes. in hand? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. They have... Uh-oh. That's, that's here, but they, we don't have... It's not in the public yet. Oh yeah, we Looks just like we just 27. we're just getting a little bit. We're getting a taste of the mRNA right now. It's uh, so far it doesn't really not much at all. But uh, uh, it might cor- might cure AIDS. It might um, I don't know. Most well, most medicine I guess, I guess. technology and chemical technologies are are questionable. And the thing that really spurred me is uh, this past week we spent a good. Not a ton of time, um, but we had a fairly decent conversation about radium, how radium rose to prominence as a consumer product in the early 1900s. Glow in the dark and is so fucking cool, man. I, trust me, I love glow in the dark. Yeah, radium. I, I wish... Clocks? I wish the... Toys? The No Agenda guys would let me take the black light night... <laughs> <laughs> Should have done that one. How um, much? How much mercury have you ingested through your fingers as a child? Not enough. <laughs> eh. Maybe, maybe, maybe um, more than you. <laughs> well, so the thing about the radium, though, is it was being touted as a sort of cure all. You could throw it at any problem; it would de-age you. It would cure cancer. It would help with general aches and pains. Uh, death is know, the so ultimate cure all. These... There is a cure all. It's, it is death. If you're in pain and you're suffering, but death is the, the cure all for that. Well, these, I'd say sometimes there's space for some death easy. Yeah, I mean, that's not even a question. Oh, my God, me. yeah. There is definitely, it's suffering. And suffering is so, worse than death. So, uh, life is yeah, life. I mean, life is fleeting. Life is fleeting. Death is eternal. And suffering is, that's just bad. And it's, it's there's a hypothesis that the radium girls, the one that were painting the clock watches, uh, their bones still glow in the dark in their coffins. They ended up consuming so much radium over their course of working at the factories. And, you know, they're all about it because they, they were being told at the time that radium is a 
safe and effective medication. Everybody uses it. Doctors recommend it. Look, weed, look weed's bad, though. Him. Weed is going to... Uh... up. Well, you never know it's going to um you never know it's going to be the domino that is the uh, uh the scythe holder the scythe holder you don't know how death is going to come for you mm. but death is coming for you That's... be it radium be it asbestos be it butter on the floor cuz you slipped you got... got into a Back and forth on the interwebs with somebody. He was going off about, uh, you know, these psychics foretelling the deaths of everybody that took the vaccines and how they ended up being wrong. And uh, just, you know, just kind of eye rolly stuff. But I, I just had to hop in there. I couldn't help myself. But I laid down a bare bones basic fact that. 100% of people that took the vaccinations will die. That is just it's the name true. of the game. Also, 100% of people that didn't get vaccinated will die, too. Where's my bell? I need a bell. Ding, ding, ding. Wait, I got a good one. <laughs> got this, um, this singing bowl. It's from Tibet. And, uh, you know, Norm MacDonald had this fantastic quote and he's talking about being right at the beginning of the of the covid outbreak and uh and he's got he's got brilliant takes on it but the one that stood out to me i mean this guy is within months of passing away you know and he's looking sick on stage it's you know it sucks it's sad he had but cancer. He had this, this what did he quote. have cancer of? He had cancer of uh, like not being funny. He he got cancer because he was making he was too funny. <laughs> Possibly. God's like, oh, we need you up here, Norm. <laughs> <laughs> you got a train ticket. Get on up. I remember yeah, Tommy used to didn't is. think he was funny, and now I think he is funny. But, uh, you know, he's got this quote that uh, I've been caught a couple times saying it. I don't mind. He's got this quote paraphrasing, and he was glad that everybody finally figured out that they're going to die. Now it's just a matter of what order, finding out what order. It's creepy. You ever think about, like, your really good friends? Would you rather live through your friends dying, or would you rather die? I'd rather live um, through my friends die because man, life is pretty awesome. For I still got things that I want to fuck around with. So, but then again, I don't want my friends to die. But I'm just saying, like in the overall ladder, if I could uh, uh, climb it, I need to be expectancy of life. Uh, I have uh, at uh, except and uh, no pain, no pain and life. You know, I I got the. Uh... I got a lot of older friends just given the nature of the past 10 years. And, you know, these, these friends are about as old as my dad and, you know, just sitting there hanging out, doing stuff at work at the theater or whatever. And then yeah, they, no pain. Know, they got no, no, well, if, they might have some pain, you know, on my leg, but you know, you, you well, weren't no, around what it. I'm getting, what I'm getting, what I'm getting at is I'm, you know, watching and trying to, you know, offer condolences uh, in any way that I can. And, you know, you're condolences. watching your friend, um, you know, lose his friend. To, to just, people that are alive? Know. Yeah, you know, but they were alive, but their friends are dying because they're at that age. Or, you know, there's a, you know, a lot of, a lot of the folks had, you know, sort of a, sordid history uh sort of a with fast die mentality for a long time and you know there's a comes a time to collect and it's just you know i, I i've had i've heard it multiple times that you know the worst part about growing up and getting old is losing your friends 
family. You know what I think the worst it. part is? Trying to give uh, gratitude where gratitude is not understood. Um, mm. You, I feel that you have a sense of uh, expiration date and uh, importance of what we do have. And some people might not have that. So if you're trying to, if you go up to somebody who's like, and you're like, hey man, I just want to say I love you. I think I think that life is great. They might be like, fuck out of here. <laughs> then just not give a fuck. <laughs> they might not even understand like where you're coming from. But can it's I, it's not I a bad thing a to feel though, because it's uh it's good, it's it is real. It is real. Damn it. If you had to choose between the two, would you rather have the inner monologue in your head, or would you rather have the knowledge of a self expiration date? Um, well, I only have inner yeah. monologue, so, but I do have a self expiration date too. I kind of have a feeling of when I'm, I'm not going to get past a hundred. I'm probably going to go at like fucking 70, 80, maybe 90. Yeah, I guess what I'm coming at is, you know, falling up or falling into that mentality of, you know, being somebody that like medicine and science is going to be able to keep me alive indefinitely forever. Oh, like a vampire? Yeah, or like a transhumanist. Do you know that they used to put, uh, if they buried people, well, they found somebody buried with a, uh, oh, a yeah. padlock on their leg and a sickle around their neck? Yeah, so they could, if they tried to crawl, crawl out of the grave, they would behead themselves. In Romania, it's crazy, man. In Romania? Because I'm seeing it's in Poland. Is Poland Romania? It's not. Two different countries. Okay. Um, so I'm more Polish than I am very, Romanian. Okay, I gotcha. They are not neighbors, if I remember correctly. But uh, this this skeleton, the female vampire, that was uh, it was unearthed in a cemetery in Poland. Okay. Yeah. But uh, it, since it was in Poland, I think that they just this was all an accident, a mistake. It's probably nothing about vampires at all. Oh, you know what? There is a, um, the southwest tip of Ukraine touches Romania. The, uh, this lady, it was probably a Polish sex toy, and people just didn't find her. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. You said Poland, not Ukraine. Okay, Poland and Romania do not touch. You have to go through Slovakia and then Hungary. Oh, what are you talking or about? Or cut all the... The location of Romania, I couldn't remember. I do you like where it was on the map? I I was where did I see this article? I was I was I saw an article about Ukraine recently. It was bonkers. It blew my mind. It was. Hold on one second. Let me look up. Let me look up Ukrainian trolls <laughs> Russia. Ukraine troll. Russia, because this Ukrainian trolled Russia video thing, it's, I feel like it's more like I'm being trolled by reality. Wait, there's more than just one news search for Ukrainian mercilessly troll Russia. All right, I'm not going to look for this. This is going down the wrong path. But there was a video. It was like a video on a website, and it was like, oh, the Ukrainians are trolling Russians by saying that they're dead, but they're not dead. And there's a, somebody took a video of it, and, and Vlad said that he didn't like it. And I'm like, what the fuck is... What is any of this? What is what is going on? I just... I really think it's the wheels or whatever vehicle this is that we're stuck in the actual manufacturer vehicle that we're all stuck in and in a lot of ways forced to participate. Uh, I, I think it's just 
there's so many clowns shoved into this clown car that the doors are buckling. <laughs> Do you know who Robert Anton Wilson is, caller? Yeah, Rob, man. And the uh, uh, reality tunnels? That and the Illuminatus. And I think the... I think, I think he was telling us the truth. He was telling us that the people in charge use reality tunnels because that's the only thing that could explain any of this is that there's people in charge that have a reality tunnel and they're like, this is our reality tunnel for you. And we're in charge. And I'm just like, I don't get it, but uh, sure. Thank you, Robert Anton Wilson for explaining reality to me. It's unreal to me because I'm being forced a reality that these charlatans want me to um, believe in. These, See, these, that's why the bourgeois I, media. That's why I I really love just everything about lizard people. I'm all aboard. Whether it be real, whether they. Be, so you don't drive a know, car to work. More. You ride a lizard person. <laughs> Save the planet right away. <laughs> they could live in hot um, weather too. So, but it pushed Kane to shove, and you know, someone said you have to nail one word that describes who quote they is. It, it would, would be, be a witch. People. I think it's. I think it's. A, it's a type of. It's a type of witch. Uh. Male do you know that I could? Do you know how you point matter. these people out? The witches have fake eyelashes. Anyone well, who uses just... a fake eyelash, witch. <laughs> um, in the scene that it really reminds me of, the one that comes to mind the most all the time is just uh, Merlin with Shane O'Neill. And at the end of the movie, you know, they're fighting, what's her name, Mor- Morgana Le Fay or Morgan Yeah, Le Morgana. Fay. Morgana. Yeah. Morgana. Do you think Morgana How do they had do fake eyelashes? Can you believe, if I said Morgana had fake eyelashes, would you say maybe? Probably. All right. Now, caller, <laughs> have you ever put on fake eyelashes? Diane, we got a witch. Trace that call. Trace that call. All right, now turn on the lights again. It's by Azuria. Turn on the lights!
it to me. It worked. It worked perfectly. Yeah, that's just one fucking eat it up, man. Nah, I fucking... Yeah. Oh, yeah, it worked perfectly. He, he totally thought that you were... You were his wife or some shit. I don't know, but, uh, yeah, I traced down the phone. Uh, he picked up. I had fucking traced him down. And I, he's dead now. He's right here on the desk. Hold on. Let me push him off the desk. Oh, yeah. Ooh, shit. That was fucking... Anyway, Diane, yeah, yeah, it worked fine. I'm gonna go through his computer now. I'm gonna find out, see if I could uh, get any. Uh, what was this thing? Oh, Diane, yeah, he's got this weird little earth device. Yeah, it's probably harmless. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's got a red light on it, but it doesn't smell dangerous. No, oh, let me rub it on my crotch. Hold on. Oh. No, it seems completely harmless, Diane. Yeah, I'm just gonna go through his bank account now, okay? Yeah, let's go. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna load up into his computer. Okay. Yep, he's got it all saved, just like you said. Oh man, I can't believe he married you after a week, Diane. This is a... This is some great scam here, yeah. Alright. What, do you want me to look to see if there's any... What is this? How to hide your wife's body. Well, Diane, I think he was getting close to maybe figuring you out there. Uh, let's see here. He got... An OnlyFans for... Look at this. That girl's on Twitch. She, she's a little Twitch bitch. She, she, yeah! Yeah, that girl just had sex on Twitch. It was only banned for a week. Can you believe that? that Dan, can you believe that? Hey, I'm thinking about making a... Thinking about making a... Um, is it okay to, for us to talk with this, this secure line? Well, I don't know if it's secure. It's just his phone line, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting... I'm, I'm getting the info. I'm, I'm sending you the fucking... I'm sending you the money, okay? Hold on. Jeez. What is this? Oh, he's got some news. Remember I used to do the news for you guys? Until you fucking send those lawyers after me. I can't believe how it's here. What has he got in his news? He got, what is ultra-processed food? <laughs> I'll show you ultra-processed ultra fucking, fucking food. This guy laying on the floor next to me, he's going to be real processed. And, uh, studies show linked to cancer, morality, and poor mental health. Oh, mortality. I thought it was in morality. You know what? You probably just throw morality up in there, too. These people that make the, these scientists of Earth, they don't know fucking shit. They just pretend that they do. So they live out. Like, what is poor mental health? And how does a processed food do that? Like, what, what? You don't even know the drugs that you're giving people you sell on TV. You don't even know what the fuck's going on. Oh, Jesus, I can't. Yeah, okay, Diane, Diane, I know. I just had a little itching for the news over here. Okay, Jesus. Alright, let's see here. What else has he got money going? Uh, all this typing's got me thirsty. What has he got here? What is this? This bottle says Jenkum on it. What is this Jenkum? It looks like a really, uh... What is this fucking... Is this fermented? Is this fermented? Some new hipster shit? It's written with fucking black magic marker. Let's try this. Why is the cap sticky? Oh, I know that smell, though. That's a very familiar smell. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was trying to drink them out here. <laughs> Diane, how come you've never told me about this Gentum shit? This is amazing. I'm going to buy some of this online later or something. Maybe Amazon has it. Alright, okay, yeah, Diane, Diane, I'm going back to the... Alright, yeah, here we go. Yeah. Hey, uh -huh. okay, here we go. And send. Alright, you got it. Yeah, wait. Diane, before I go, though, I gotta tell you, <laughs> I'm looking at this guy's fucking news articles. Uh, oh, you gotta read it here. What do we got here? Uh, they got this thing called Minoxidil. And LA is a really a miracle cure for baldness. It's just like a chemical that they fucking pumped into people. It's actually, you know, cancer, 
poor mental health too, but they, they don't. And sometimes, you know, a couple of people makes them grow a hair on their fucking scrotum. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's really no fucking news. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. I fucking yeah. I just miss you too, baby. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What is this? Yeah, there's this article open over here. Physicists broke the speed of light. Yeah, yeah, fucking sure they did. Uh, with pulses inside of hot plasma. Okay. Most of us grew up familiar with the prevailing law that limits how quickly information would travel through empty space, the speed of light, which tops out at 300,000 kilometers per second. While photons themselves are unlikely to even break the speed limit, there are features of light which don't play by the same rules. Yeah, like your mother. When she comes to my house, she doesn't follow any rules except for... Anyway, uh, manipulating them all night. What is this shit? So they're thinking that they can make light go faster in the plasma. You know, I don't even fucking care. Man, this body is starting to look uh, really sexy to me. And before it cools down, I'm going to probably try to stick a whole bunch of my dicks in there. So, uh, how about this? Yeah, I'm just going to hang up now and, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll talk to you later, baby. All right, bye. Okay. Oh, all right, come here, body. I'm going to take you into the bathroom here. Oh, yeah, you're a heavy boy. Oh, you're a heavy boy. Okay, yeah. Oh, you're a heavy boy, yeah. I was going to pull right over here in his bathtub. Yep. Uh, all right, and uh, into the tub of mayo you go. Luckily, I put all this mayonnaise here already. <laughs> oh. person and respecting people and things like that remember the way we used to be remember when it was only you i remember i want to go back to the better days i want to go back to the better ways where every day I think it's British Christian. Those thoughts and feelings you have at night that keep you up, the insomnia that cripples you. Remember the way we used to be. We used to be tight. Remember when it was only you and me. I want to go back to the better days. I want to go back to the better way. You're building a rat ship. Every day and every night, it made me feel like I could touch the sky. Oh, man. 
in the sewer chat makes me laugh. Thank goodness for the sewer. Ch thank goodness for the sewer chat. Thank you for um, Servo. Thank you so much. Thank you to uh, Void Zero and Nodebit and No Agenda and Hog Story and uh, Booberry and Lavish. What? And uh, who else is all? Who's who? Netned and Ducky and Dillyweed. Who the fuck is Dillyweed? And Chad. Actually, no, fuck Chad. Chad could go suck a fuck. Um, who the fuck is Dilly? Your servo could be Dilly. Really? <laughs> Wait, no, Dillyweed is lavish? Now I'm really confused. How many fucking people are the same people? That's the problem with the internet. You could just make copies of copies. There's no... Uh, actually, that's the good thing. It's culture unleashed. The internet is culture unleashed. Damn it. Nah. I think I finished all... I think I finished all the cores in the in the sewer right now. So I think I'm moral, morally obligated to not stay here, even though the scientists have laser guns pointed at me. But that's okay. I'm used to that. You don't need to be you on the internet? No. Even on the internet, you might not be you. You might be somebody else. But who the, you won't even know who you are, man. It's like, it's, um, you ever, you ever like have an identity crisis? Like, who are you? What are you? And why? Why don't you want to be you? Why do you want to be somebody else? Why are you trying to strive to be this whole other fucking thing that you're not? Play that song. What are you talking... Ducky, what are you talking about, Ducky? I think Ducky's had too much to drink tonight. <laughs> you play the outro <laughs> You want to go to sleep, pussy? Come on, it's only it's almost it's almost midnight in a whole entire other quadrant of the planet. All right, fine. Let's see. Do I do I have anything else to play here? No, it might be done. Is there any other voicemails? No. Okay. All right, Ducky, you win this time. But next time. You better duck. That was better days. Three one five. A Christian Irish band. Suggested to me by Ducky. Ducky who goes to the church every weekend and smokes the Bible page by page until he's too stoned to remember he's not on the moon. Anyway, uh okay guys, we'll be back next week. Um Maybe I'll post some episodes soon. Maybe I won't. But hey, right now you could. It's, yeah, I'm not going to make it to the fucking next time. Anyway, everybody, thank you for hanging out. Um, I love I love the holiday season that's coming. We're going to try to have some spooky, scary fun over the next eight to 12 weeks. All right. Like I'm doing it I'm doing it every week. I'm trying to have a little spooky, scary fun, but for the next eight to twelve weeks, we are gonna try to go really deep into uh what Halloween could be within the psyche of a uh, a demented podcast listener or host. But until then, 
Look at Me Now by Emin Nelson. Good night, sewer. Good night, internet. Good night, moon. Good night. Protect you. Protect me from what? From me. I don't need to be protected from you. But you don't understand how fucked up I am. How weird and different. I'm fucked up too. It's okay. I know, but you don't know everything. Then tell me. Don't tell him. Don't ever tell anyone. They won't understand. They'll say that they will, but they won't. And eventually they will lock you up. Now, Alma, I'm here for you. And we're doing amazing things. Can we please just do amazing things? I don't want to be alone in this. You're, You're not. not. You, you have, have me. me. Don't kill animals!